We lost the car stage has destabilized the strategic picture. Chaotic realignment is underway. Consequences are not limited to the military environment. Admiral Steele's delivered a communique to the Security Council two hours after the engagement. He demanded overarching political authority to execute the final phase of the war with all available force. His request has been granted. In fact, Steele is now giving orders to the civilian leadership. The Vengeance and Phoenicia's transit node, we believe the Implaceable and Agamemnon are also being moved into position. It is possible the Pallas and the Ilium are also en route from Epsilon Pegasi. No confirmation has reached us. The war will be resolved in the next several days. In terms of raw megatonnage, it will be the most violent human on human combat in history. Uh, Paroxysm unmatched since Lucifer fell from heaven. Oh god, enough of the illusions, man. We have an opening. GTVA round forces are deploying. I told you you would receive the answers you wanted about your dreams, about your purpose. Your experiences with the Ken entity are tied to a secret discovered by GTI 50 years ago. This secret may be the key to understanding what threat humanity faces from the Shivans and how we can avoid extinction. You are the weapon we will use to achieve this objective. 11 days plus or minus 2 days until steel attacks Earth. Woo! We've slowed him down a little bit. Time is three. Why are we awake? Why are you? Whatever. Actually, three AM is not bad. Situation begins. Intelligence we gathered from onboard database of GTVA defectors at the gang wars put us on a trail of fifty-year-old mystery. The location of the fabled Indum Dictionary. Rogue elements of the GTI studied achievement behavior even before the Ross 128 attack, and they discovered a quantum pulse phenomenon used in achievement communications, and labeled this phenomenon Nagiri. The Idem Dictionary's last surviving copy of the database consisting their work on decrypting and understanding the Geary signals. It might allow us to intercept and understand the Geary transmissions or generate and send our own, as much as Admiral Bosch achieved with ETAC. Using the 14th Battle Group Defectors Intelligence on GTI history, we tracked the Idem Dictionary into a storm platform on the atmosphere of Jupiter, but the fall of Jupiter prevented us from recovering it. That changes it today. We're going in to retrieve this database. GTVI cached this copy of the database aboard a gas refinery platform in Jupiter's atmosphere. The area has been swelled by an enormous storm system for the past eight months. We've used Cassandra to simu stim simulate the storm system and determine a safe path through. You will escort the transport COPUS aboard the platform and retrieve the data. Because the area is under intense GTVA surveillance, we can't risk a large force. We believe SOC is closing in. On the platform as well, they want this data for their own achievement research. The Copas, Copas team will require several minutes to download the data because we do not have the force to hold the platform against an SOC assault. We've developed an unconventional strategy. The gas refinery is surrounded by floating contragrav platforms used to hold process material until freighters can reach them. Platforms are empty. The Agantis has slipped into Jupiter orbit on infusion drives. It carries several modified Dakota main battle tanks armored with heavy weapons and thick armor. At your signal, the Agantis will drop these tanks into the platforms, converting it into a makeshift sentry gun. Oh god. SOC teams are sweeping the storm, but with Ocasandra grade simulations, they are forced to fight the weather. Enormous electromagnetic discharges and hydrocarbon hail. Their communications are shattered, their formations have split apart, and we have advantage of clear comms through the hidden buoys we left during the fall. Expect the SOC units to approach in waves, recon fighters first, then heavier elements vectored in. They will first attempt to capture the refinery, then destroy it to keep it over hands to not allow these outcomes. Your HUD will display their expected approach vectors using a jump node icon. Oops. Ignis will be standing by to drop its tanks. Use the one key to swap to swap in and out of an overhead camera view. Use your cockpit arrow keys or keypad position to build to position the build cursor. When looking at a platform, press left control to activate the build menu. Use the arrow keys on the keypad or navigate the menu and select the tank type you want. Left control to deploy. The automated tank sentries will remain dormant until you press 2. This will allow you to set a trap. Once active, GTA forces will attack them. The Ignis will likely be detected and driven off. Don't wait too long to drop your tanks. The 
have access to several different tank variants. Gauss mount, tanks mount a powerful main gun with long range, good precision missile tank. Fire heavy anti-ship torpedoes, flak mount, and Dastra burst guns. ECM pods will jam turrets and weapons of nearby hostiles. The slow, sole available repair pod will deploy light and industrial drones to fix active armor on nearby friendly ships and tanks. Because you have no support ship, it will also help repair you. Oh, whoops. Position your tank sentries to help defend the platform until Copes completes its download. Oh god, this mission sucks. This is gonna suck. One switches you between fly and build mode. Use the arrow keys to move the camera and build mode. Once the camera is over a platform, it will focus on it, then you press less control to enter the weapon system. Use the arrow keys to select the weapon package and left control to deploy it. Two will unlock all the turrets of the tanks you have placed. Are you kidding me? They'll give me Grimlers for this mission? Alright, what do we got here? So I died the first time through. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit better survivability in the end game. So now that I know how this works, one brings up the camera, and then the arrow keys kind of move me around. A little clumsily granted, yes, but anyway. Bocona, escort that. Do not run into me. Excellent. And control over the thing you want to defend. Whoops. What the fuck did I just deploy? Because I definitely probably got shit. All right. Select it and flak and missile for good measure. And I'm going to go with flak there, flak there. And flak here. So that platform right there. I'm going to go with Goss. I'm going to go with Missile. And Missile. Unless I fuck, I put another flak turret there. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll put a Goss right there, and we'll put the last missile package right here. Activating turrets.
Alright, scout wings are toast. Great, so it doesn't matter if we destroy them or not. And notice I got no ECM pods and no repair pods. I think that's what the last mission meant was based on how well I do on that mission or how many ships make it back from that mission determines what gear we're going to have on this mission. So, yeah. I don't have any way to... I have no countermeasures and I got no repair pods. Delightful. Now, we don't need to worry about too, too much. I'm just going to get a good view of the uh, battle. I think there's only one more wave after these guys. Shit. There goes my missiles. Yeah, well, whatever. There goes my flak. Fuck me. There goes my first turret emplacement. I still have Gauss guns, I still have flak, I still have missiles, that's all that matters. There goes one. Shit. Another one. Oh dear. Seven, seven tanks left. Hopefully it'll be enough. I think they'll come from this way. They're going to try to blow it up. Here they come. We'll just wreck these auroras first. And the Gauss guns were doing their job. Nice.
And now just blow up everything else there, guys. At your discretion. At your le leisure, even. This is actually going a little better than the first time I played through. I think by this point, because I was done with my turret placements, uh, the refinery and Copas took a lot of damage because of friendly fire. And now we wait 30 seconds. This free space tower defense isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to hate it. Just gotta order these guys to blow up the bombers before they get too close. And I don't want to... Ah, shit. I don't want to waste any of my ammunition fighting these guys because we have um, nicks, 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 nicks. Ah, oh, the nicks are so pretty. Because uh, we got one, we got a final phase of this mission that I'm gonna need all my guns for. Okay, I think that's everything. So, it's going up, and we're going to form up on it and look up. It's time to see the supernova bombs heading our way. And there is stealth fighters heading towards us. Refinery is coming apart. Hey, I survived that! The ERA kit's worth its weight in gold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, you're out. Can I leave? Yeah, that mission isn't that hard. Didn't have to be hard. You held off a GTV attack until the Copas and her Marines were able to complete their mission. Although reconnaissance reports sold the destruction of the refinery and surrounding platforms, the database itself was extracted before bombardment began. 
The Indian Dictionary is ours, Cassandra and Les are already working on the database to unlock what secrets it holds. All elements of the SOC Strike Force were neutralized. The fighter complement was composed of some of SOC's best pilots, along with several elite marine squads. Through a combination of your own skill and the hostile environment, you are able to overcome them. SOC ops within the system have been set back substantially. Rest yourselves for DM. The difficult work has been done. Operator report, we will call you when our analysts of the when our analysis of the dictionary is ready. It's surreal to believe that this thing inside my head is genuinely alien. To see the Fidian bent on cracking it like another Teb warship. It's kind of reassuring, no matter how strange the, tar the target the Fidian find a way. I want to know. <laughs>